Okay, well, welcome back to Planet Coaster, New Mountain, as I've chosen to call this park, even though I can't change the park name yet. That's okay. Um, I have sort of mapped out the next little bit of path. As you can see, it's a little dodgy looking here, but I believe that's just because it's still in alpha, so the terrain elevation things aren't quite as seamless as they will be in the final product. I kind of hope they smooth out that too. I'd rather it be a little more curved, but that might be asking too much. I'm not actually sure. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna throw some more full rides up here. There's no filter yet. Can I just like throw? No, that's not a thing you can search. Just yet. Okay, so extreme thrill ride. Oh, I'm like in a tree. Um, pause it really quick. Wait. Oh, it was paused. Oops. Um, gonna throw this here. I actually want to test it and see what it looks like. Okay, but I want, I just want to test the ride. Can I, can I test? There we go. I'm just gonna see... Oh, the steps are there, so maybe it would make more sense to rotate it the way it was before. Yeah. I wonder if I did it the way it was before, because I actually wanted it to go sort of over the path, which I should have anticipated, actually, considering the way it's built, but that's okay. I'm gonna end the test and move it this way and fine-tune it a little bit so it's actually... Pretty close. Oh no, it's like red. Is that because the queue's there? Why can't I put it anywhere? Maybe because it's... It's a... Uh... No, I want to like delete the entrance. Okay, let's just put them both there and see if I can move this now. The way I want it to. Yes, there we go. That is what I want. It's not super lined up with the pathway, but I will just throw some scenery decoration stuff in there and that'll look fine. I'm wondering which side is the entrance though, like which side they go up to get on it or if they'll just go on whichever. Um, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Um, actually, oh yeah, if I just do the Q over here and put the ticket booth like there and the path can come there and that'll kind of fill in that space, that might look okay. So, do to do, exit can go here and add a Q. Okay, so that should fit there, theoretically. Oh, and it'll like, oh, it'll like stretch to where you want it to go, which is awesome. I see how that works now. Um, oh, and then I need to add a path over here. Path, and I want a little tiny path. There. And this is looking pretty good, I think. We're gonna open that up. 
I'm gonna hit play on this and we are going to add some sort of sign. I think this star would look pretty nice. And three six oh it covers up the star completely. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay, um, so 360 power, that's just like the whole darn thing, isn't it? I mean, I guess it looks pretty good, but, and I does make me a little sad that whenever I put a light on this side, it like blinds the poor little person at the entrance. But I do like putting these like light up. Which you can't actually see how it looks right now. But we're just gonna put that there and see how it looks later. Oh, he's like holding a milkshake! I mean, I guess I should expect that. But I kind of want to watch him, like, drink his milkshake. Come on, let me zoom in. There we go. Hi, buddy. You enjoying your milkshake, mister? Looks like he's enjoying it. Oh, I don't want to change the speed. I don't want to do that. Oh, he takes it off when he gets in the queue. I guess because he's getting on the ride. But I think it'd be kind of cool if they could, like, eat stuff in the queue. And then just, like... If they haven't finished it by the time they get on the ride, then it disappears. But that's okay. I wonder if he'll be able to, like... Oh, you can see their thoughts! I didn't even realize this was there yet. So the adult group... Tells you how much money they have. Single adults. Family group. And it only tells you what kind of group they're in, like, not, like, what they are. I don't know why they would know that, but... Adult couple... How fun! That's another couple... Single teen. Oh, yeah, he is shorter. I like his haircut. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure they use the same sound effects as Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Or maybe 3, I don't know. I mean, 3, they'd probably still have the stuff since it's the same team, but uh, that sounds very familiar. <laughs> Although I was watching, once I was watching Friday Night Lights, and they were at a carnival, and they used the sound effects from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, like that scream right there. Hopefully you can hear it. But that sound was used at like a carnival in Friday Night Lights and it was so... It was like a bizarre deja vu experience. Um, okay, so we're gonna put it right up here too. And let's see, what haven't we put? Oh, the forge. That looks pretty cool, but we're kind of... We have a lot of spinny rides. Maybe we'll put this one over here. And then this is going to kind of lead into like a roller coaster, which I'm still kind of avoiding. I will do that in the next episode. I might start it in this episode if we get there, but I will promise you guys uh, there will be a roller coaster eventually. <laughs> Um, okay, so, oh yes, I am placing, hmm, I should probably place the entrance over here so there's enough room for a ticket booth, theoretically, <laughs> and then I'll put the exit over, like, just right off the path. That's nice and easy, and I do like how it, the base of the rides match the path, uh, which is super, super nice. Oh, that one actually doesn't. That one doesn't. That's sad. But I just saw that one change to the the color of the path, which I think looks a lot better. So we're going to add a queue. 
which is hopefully going to work. We're just gonna maybe do like a short queue. Or actually, we can kind of like make it curve off like that. And then put a ticket booth there. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'll try it. I believe in you. Oh yes, look at that. So it kind of goes off the uh, the end there and it looks a little glitchy. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're gonna turn it on since it's ready. And oh, is there a tree? There's a tree in our path. Let's not have that there. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Sometimes the camera controls go a little bonkers. Where am I? I've completely lost track of where I am. It's like when I click my scroll wheel to change the angle is when it goes a little crazy. Okay, here we go. Put a sign up and I've been like doing being so boring with the signs just doing the uh, the you know bare minimum this is the name of the ride. That's about it. But I don't know, there's just not all that much to work with yet. But I mean, there's these, but like, there's then there's not really anything to put on it, you know? Although this would look as a cool background for the forge. Although I do want to like move it up a little bit. Move up. There we go. Very nice. And actually, maybe that would look better. Eh, actually, okay, I think that's actually better when it was lower. There, okay. Done fiddling with that of Sunflare. That's a, I love this sign. That's a really cool sign. Actually, I don't want that there. I just wanted to look at it. Go away. Yes. That looks awesome. I love it. Oh, that looks, this reminds me of like the Little Mermaid ride. Oh yeah, it's got like a thing on it, um, like a ship's wheel thing, so it's kind of oceany, pirate, whatever, I'm sure. Um, so let's see, did I turn that right on? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Very nice. Um, and then, oh, I wanted to put the genie one over here so that it's sort of like mixed things up a little bit so it wasn't just like spinny ride after spinny ride but why aren't you letting me place you is it just because the trees are there okay well let's clear some space really quick Okay, so I like just barely cleared enough room, I guess, because it keeps going into the red whenever uh, I go near it. So we definitely want to put the entrance near here for efficient loading, but we can probably put the exit like all the way down here. Oh, you know what would be so cool? I mean, it would probably be a little obsessive, but maybe do it for a couple of the your main major rides. But putting, like, a having the exit of a ride go into, like, a building that's, like, a gift shop, like they do at Disney, that would be, I don't know, I think that'd be really fun. Um... Okay, why is this like, this is unnecessarily curvy. Oh no, dang it. Ah, oh, I keep doing that, thinking it's gonna delete the path. And not, not the whole ride. Goodness, goodness gracious, I am not always the brightest. Okay, place entrance, back where I wanted it. But yeah, I just think it'd be really fun to have it go into like a little shop right at the exit that's like themed similarly to the ride. I don't know. I think it'd be really fun. But it would 
possibly be a bit on the excessive side. And I kind of... No, that doesn't look very nice. No, Q. Down to three, and let's just do like... Yeah. Like a nice, long, curvy Q. And then maybe bring it down a little bit so we can put the ticket booth there. I'm finally getting the hang of like how much room you need for a ticket booth. I want to like curve it just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And then I need to put an exit path really quick. I wish I could make these exit paths skinnier. Whoa, that is not... That is an ugly angle. Hold on, I'll fix that. Let's just uh, make the length really long. Oh yeah, see it like changed it at first when I first put the path there, but then it like didn't... Oh, you can like put it there though. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go do that really quick. The other... The other ones, just do that. And I never did put a thing there and it just like... Make them all look uniform, which I think looks really nice. Although it is a bit of a dull choice on my part, but I'm not ready for the theming yet. Holy crap! They must have just set, like, demand, like, super high for the alpha. Probably because there's no, like, park management yet. It's just, like, come, come one, come all, come queue up as much as you can. Sorry, like, heck up mid-sentence there. Um, okay, so there we go. And we want to put a sign on this ride. Signs. Buildings. Wall signs? Yes. It's confusing because, like, scenery has signs. I guess these are more ground signs. Okay. And then buildings have wall signs. That makes sense. So this is the genie one, which is there. Very aladdin -y. Though I'd like to put something a little okay, that's coaster. That's this is not a coaster. I'd like to like mix it up a little bit. This is mm, Yeah, I don't know, I just like more more ride things for the signs, because right now it's just like, put the name of the ride on it, and you're done. That's okay, though. I'm sure it'll be one of those things that is uh, fixed later. So, okay. We are going to start a coaster, and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, wait, I actually, like, th I thought there was unlimited money in this game <laughs> right now. Uh... So there's hyper coaster, vertical drop, inverted coaster. These are all like super like modern looking coasters, which is nice. Um, oh, I always liked floorless ones. So. Yeah, I want them to enter and exit on the same side. I want to, I want you to go up. Yes. Start higher in the sky, please. We're not going to do that? Okay. Actually, I think this is the wrong way. Okay. There's that. Oh, do I have to, like, hold down a button? I forget. No, that's camera. Okay, M? B? No. Okay, I guess we're starting it down here. <laughs> and I want more station. Is there not... Can I make a longer station? Okay, this is good. 
No. Up. Oh, there we go. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, but it's doing what I want it to do, so, you know. That works. That way you can have, like, two sets of cars on it. Is there... Can I, like, set that yet? Or is that something... I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, you guys. No, 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 no. Not that. Okay. So now I want track. Chain lift. That's a length. That's a rotate. That makes it longer and that makes it higher. So we want it to go up. And I mean... Hmm... I don't really know. I, like, always want to make the coasters, like, as compact as possible for some reason. I'm not really sure why. And I feel like that's actually really bad for, like, the coaster. Um, okay. What if I... Oh, this is the one that, like... Oh, okay, there we go. But I feel like it's, like, it makes it, like, way too intense to, like... I want to, like, it to just have a steep incline and then a steep drop and, like, as many loops as you can fit in a small area and I feel like people don't necessarily want that. So, uh, yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. How high is this? Do we know? That also looks, like, really weird. Let's, uh, wait, no, I want you to be longer. Whoa, okay, no, 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 not that. That is, that is high. Okay, so there's that. Now that it's like all twisty and turny, actually we'll do one more twist like that and like make it go flat. And let's not do that. <laughs> so then we're gonna go down, we're gonna go into regular track. We're gonna shorten this a little bit. And it's going to start to go down. And then maybe turn as you're going down. It should probably bank while it does that. No? Okay, I'm clicking that and then I'm... Eh? Eh? Ha! There we go. And then long longer. Longer, please. There we go. And also this way. Can I like test it yet? Is that a thing? Okay. Oh, I didn't I wanted to click that actually. Okay. Go. Oh wait, no, that's just going straight. I mean that's probably actually a better a better solution than what I was doing. I wanted to like I think Relic of Circuit Chicken 3 did this. Something did this where you could like test while you were going and it would like to have like phantom cars going. Maybe that was the Relic of Chicken World Let's Play I was watching. I can't remember. <laughs> but something had like a phantom test so like you could test it as you were building. And I thought that was super helpful because I have no idea what I'm doing and I'd like to make sure, you know, if the first turn uh, kills everybody, then I know to to fix that right away. So, uh, we're gonna do that. That looks pretty good. And then maybe go back up. People like a good, good up and down, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really understand how to do, like, her. Oh, maybe I should. Oh, there's a roll. Non inverted rolls. Oh, this is kind of cool. Whoa. That's steep zero G roll. Mm, no. I, I don't. Oh, you can like change the. Whoa. 
holy mackerel. Can I just like delete that? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I just, that looks cool, but I, I don't know if I want to get myself into that quite yet. Pretzel knot. That looks fancy as heck. You know what? I'm going to do that. Can I like turn it this way though? I wanted to like, oh, and you can like scale it. Whoa. That's tidy. I don't think that's humanly possible. Ooh. I don't think they would get up that hill. They would probably die. That goes into the ground. That also goes into the ground. What about... Now that looks cool. But it needs to go up a little bit higher first. Can I just like move it up? No. Okay. Um, well, I think this episode is about, about over. We have sort of started, okay, that's actually really not a high hill at all. Oh my goodness. Now seeing it in comparison to like those things I was just doing, that's like, nothing's going to go up that high. That's like a kitty coaster. Um, I really hope there's a way to put like height tags. Is that a thing? No, not yet that I can see, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna maybe do a speed build of a coaster in the next episode because I feel like it's gonna take me three hours to make a coaster, but we are going to try our best. Uh, and yeah, the, we did get the thrill rides done. Um, so that's good. Oh, except that one that I forgot about over there. The, like, really tall one. I'll, uh, slap an exit and entrance onto that eventually. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me through, um, sort of figuring out how to do a, a building Let's Play. I am, you know, used to doing Sims where they're actually doing interesting things for me to comment on, and this is just, like, me feeling helpless with a new game. So, um, yeah, like, comment, let me know what you think, uh, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.